Let's take a look at everything new in iOS 15.5. Welcome everybody to Apple Insider, it is Andrew here. I have downloaded and installed iOS 15.5 that is now available. I'm gonna walk you through everything that is new in this newly available software update. Okay, if we head into the Home app and check on our HomePods or HomePod minis, when we scroll down into settings, as long as our HomePod is running the most recent 15.5 update, as you can see here, where it has Wi-Fi address, you can tap that, and previously it would show your Wi-Fi network. Now it will also show your signal strength, so it's very handy to see the signal strength for your HomePods. If we also check out the settings application, we have a new option to have critical alerts for the home app. So there's time sensitive notifications and critical alerts. These are going to be things like a smoke detector going off and they will make your phone make noise and send an alert even if muted or on do not disturb mode. So critical alerts new here for HomeKit inside of iOS 15.5. We have plenty of changes going on in the wallet app this time around. So if we take a first look at the Apple Cash Card, there are new request and send buttons. Very easy to send money and request money directly here from the wallet app. Very nice, handy to do. By the way, since we're talking about the cash card, if I go into messages, the Apple Pay icon has now been replaced by an Apple Cash icon. So that used to say Apple Pay, now it says Apple Cash. And I can pull this up, send money, all of that just like it could before. They just renamed it from Apple Pay to Apple Cash. Now let's go ahead and jump back to the wallet. So aside from that, if we have our Apple Card, anywhere in the wallet app where it referenced the physical Apple Card has been renamed the Titanium Card. That just makes more sense because it is a physical card, but Titanium one kind of boasting about the metal that the Apple Card is made from. Apple is rebranding some of its cards. So there previously were iTunes passes. They have been renamed, it appears, to be Apple account cards or Apple account balance here in 15.5. They do the same thing, but just kind of rebranding them. There might be an additional Apple card that will show here with all of your other credit card and payment options that will be able to use across the board from iTunes to an actual Apple store itself. For vaccination records, they can now be added in the EU digital COVID certificate format. They can show in the wallet app as well as in the health app. If I could interject for just a moment, do you want to experience twice as fast load times in Safari on your iPhone, iPad, and Mac? Then download Magic Lasso Adblock, the ad blocker designed for you. It's easy to use, can even block YouTube ads, and can double the speed at which Safari loads. Thank you to Magic Lasso for sponsoring this video. Magic Lasso is an efficient, high performance, and free ad blocker. With over 4,000 five-star reviews, it is simply the best Safari ad blocker for your iPhone, iPad, and Mac. It blocks all intrusive ads, trackers, and annoyances, letting you experience a faster, cleaner, and more secure web browsing experience. And unlike some other ad blockers, Magic Lasso respects your privacy and doesn't accept payments from advertisers. The app also now blocks over 10 types of YouTube ads, including all video ads and pop-up banner ads. So join over 200,000 users and download Magic Lasso Adblock for free from the App Store or via www.magiclasso.co. As a special thank you to Apple Insider viewers, if you use the link down below in the description or pinned in the comments, you will get one month of free access to all of the apps Pro features. Thank you again to Magic Lasso Adblock for sponsoring this video. Now let's get back to our main content. For the podcast app, Apple is making some new changes for creators that are coming later this year. It allowed them to more easily distribute their free and paid podcast podcasts across multiple platforms. But for users, there is a handy change coming with 15.5. That is the ability to automatically delete saved uh, podcasts to help free up space. So if you have any podcasts saved that are actually downloaded, there will be an alert if you have kind of several going on and it'll automatically allow you to delete them so you don't have to take up gigs and gigs of space on old podcast episodes. You can also limit that um, inside of the settings application. So latest per show, the latest couple per show, uh, whatever you want to do, you can choose this so that way you don't take up too much inside of the photos app it will no longer suggest memories that are taking place in sensitive locations so far those all seem to be related to the holocaust but apple can add additional sensitive locations 
over time. That way you don't have those popping up here inside of the memories part of the Photos app. iOS 15.5 can take advantage of new DualSense adaptive trigger firmware features for PS5 users that want to use those awesome controllers on their iPhone or their iPad or even their Mac or Apple TV. Apple had a music API for third-party applications that allowed them to control music playback. That was removed in 15.4, but Apple has restored that API here in 15.5. Speaking of music, there also appear to be references to a forthcoming classical music application from Apple. So it looks like Apple might be rolling out something for classical music specifically that takes place outside of the standard music application. Last few things to mention is that external website links are now allowed inside of reader apps and universal control on iPadOS 15.5 will only work with macOS 12.4. So you need to be running the most recent 12.4 and iPadOS 15.5 versions to continue using universal control. Other than that, those are the changes so far found in iOS 15.5. It is available now to download. Check it out. Let me know if you find anything else new down below in the comments or over on Twitter at Andrew underscore OSU.